our operability and how we work together. And what's more important to us is that it just showcases teamwork, right? Now let's just say this. You're in the field, real time, real world, right? You want to know who the players are before you hit that field because lives are at stake, public lives, the lives of the officers. So training exercises like this allow us to work with individuals so that when things happen in real time, you know, who's available to us and what they bring to the table because safety is paramount. In terms of this exercise here yes. today, this is the consolidated one. Yes. How did it go off? It's going very well. Very, very well. Not, no surprises? I wouldn't say there's any surprises, right? We have a couple of new teams working. It's always um, nice to see how um, they're, they're going to operate with the existing teams. And overall, I'm very satisfied at, at how the way everyone's working together, mm -hmm. right? Um, another key factor that we look for is the communication process. So it would be just like you going to a dinner party or something. You want everyone to communicate together nice well so that it's successful. That's another thing we look for in these type of exercises. When people are coming in from different areas, is there interoperability that's successful? Can you communicate properly? Can you do this? Can you be on the same page? Mm -hmm. So that's another thing we look for. So constructive criticism and briefings are very, very paramount in these type of exercises because we're always looking to improve ourselves. We're always looking for feedback. So again, that when we hit real time, that we're, we're, we're prepared for it.